Alright, so today I'm going to show you guys how to fix and diag an SRS light in a 5th gen Honda Prelude with this. Right, let's get this out of the keys. show you how to actually diagnose this and fix it fully. I'm going to get my stubby. Take this apart. Yes, I still do have a auto cluster naming car. Pumpkin. Oh, my stubby might not be able to do this. Oh, fuck. I had to go get Stubby's big brother in Milwaukee. Oh, we'll be missing a bolt. Well, the job not done right if you have, uh, you're not missing a bolt, I suppose. Alright. My next step here is identifying which one this is. I think it is this one. Let's see if I did this correctly. You can see I did not take the chicken germ one light out. And there it is. And 
is how you successfully diagnose and take care of your SRS light. Alright, to be serious for a moment, there is a right and wrong way of fixing things. Obviously, taking the bulb out is not a permanent fix, but in my situation, when I switched to the S2K steering wheel, I kind of ripped the plug on it, and I don't feel like repinning it just yet. So until I do, uh, the bulb's going to stay out. That I've been in the automotive field for 11 years now, so obviously there is the correct way of fixing something as serious as a SRS light. But I know what the problem is with mine. I took the bulb out. I'm just gonna let it be until something happens. Nothing will happen, but it's just gonna be that way. So remember, don't half-ass things. Do them the right way, especially when they're serious. Thank you.